So, one day, my other friend that was working at the garage came to me with something like a circle thing in a plastic. But it was a part, a, a part for the car. So he told me, like, I should keep it. And then the next day, there will be a customer that is going to call me. So I take the thing there so that I'll just go name the price and sell it to him. So I agreed also. So the next day, there's an unknown number calling me. So when I picked up, it was the customer. So he directed me where to find him and all that. So when I went there, we were negotiating about the price and everything. So later I just saw two policemen coming towards me and saying, I stole that thing in the car. And I was selling it. I didn't know the, that customer was the owner of that thing. He brought his car in that garage where my friend was working. So my friend stole that thing from that car. So we didn't know that the customer was the owner of the car. So I, ex I tried to explain to them that, no, it's not me who stole the thing. I was just told I should come and sell it because he, wa he was busy that day. He was working. So I was free and I should do it on his behalf. So I gave them his number. We tried to call him. And when we called him, he was saying, no, he doesn't know me. He didn't do such thing. Mm. And this guy who was trying to buy the thing, he also knew that his car was there. But he just couldn't believe it. I told him, the guy stole the thing from your car. But the guy was insisting that, no, it's me who went to the garage to go steal there. Even the guy's boss was even helping him. Because he said that guy has been working there for about three years. He never stole anything. So now, I was in the problem now. These guys, they said, I should pay for it. I should pay for that thing. More than the price even that he wanted to buy it for. See now. So now I had to pay for it or go to jail. So I have to call now people that I know to come and help me so I could pay for it. I didn't know that it was my friend and the owner of the car who even played that deal. So that they could put me in a problem so that I could pay the money. See. So, guys, what I'm trying to say here is the moral of the story is even the people that you think are your friends, they are not really your friends. Never trust anyone. The only person you can trust is yourself, but even yourself, you don't trust yourself because sometimes you change. Eh? You change according to how people are treating you that day, to according what they did to you that day. You see, you follow your emotions, your feelings. Mm. So a person is not somebody to rely on. So that is the moral of the story. Do not trust anyone. At least ask questions if you are about to go in such a situation. Or somebody brings you something, try to ask something. Or even when you are talking, try to record that thing in your phone or wherever. So this is Pilako, the storyteller from Kwara Kwai Comedy. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to drop a comment. And don't forget to share with your friends. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more stories.